So this is an example of an API which will show you the available DIDs. Now what we are going to do, we will make a PHP file and put this code over there and we'll run this API script to see what it will return. Moving ahead, I just have to copy the code. Creating a file myself. I can name it anything I want. There is a mistake here. We have to close this single code. Now the code seems fine. But be careful that we talked earlier that we have to change the values for user ID password and if required we can change the country code as per our requirement. This 92 is for Pakistan. If I want to search another country code, we can put the country code over here. I'm saving the file. I will say test API. So this will be my test API.php. I'll put it in the download section. It will be easy for me to upload the file. And for the credential, I have to copy my previous credentials. And this is my password for my dummy account. And I will use 1 instead of 92 because I want to see the DID numbers that is related to America, America or Canada. So I'm using the country code for America or Canada that is one. Okay, my file is almost ready. Just have to put few additional lines to get a good formatted results. I will use a echo command with a pre tag. That's a pre HTML tag. And have to terminate the last line for printing the result okay now the file is almost ready I just have to make sure that I have new soap.php file over there where I'm gonna put this API test api.php file so just have to make sure that uh, new soap.php should be over there otherwise this file will return a, uh, an error over there Now I have to go to the download folder. Over here should be test API. Fine. Here I already have a new soap.php file. So at the same place I will upload my current file that I just made and named it as test api.php. Once the upload is finished, <coughs> I will go to the browser and run the file okay this is my url test api test api folder and in that folder i have test api.php that i just uploaded when i click on it let's see what it will return voila here it is. Now I can see the result over here. Over here in the file, I just printed the result. As per your requirement, you can utilize the result as, as per your application, as per your requirement, whatever your requirement is, you can utilize this result. I hope uh, this video can clear your doubts uh, it will help you to use our apis and if there is anything you can always always come back to me and ask any question if you have thank you very much